w życiu jak w boksie. Jeśli chcesz coś wygrać, musisz odwalczyć. I musisz być w tym dobry. Wojak dobry jest. The last week of training for Latimer Crisco in preparation for the July 2nd fight with David Hay is great. He's been training for seven weeks for the fight, but the last week he's in great spirits, no physical problems, and I think the most important thing is emotionally he feels so comfortable with the fight. We feel that David Hay has created a big fight by making video games and drawing paints on t-shirts and cutting up dolls, but on the 2nd of July he has to face reality and he is nowhere near the class of the league of Vladimir Klitschko. Vladimir is too good in every area. Physically bigger, uh, more more experience at the peak of his career. Also the fact that he has fought many fast boxers, the Eddie Chambers and the Embraga Mobs and Alicio Castillo's so many supposed fans he's been faster than all those fighters including Chris Beard so the biggest asset that David Hay thinks that he has is speed and Latimer is faster than him and bigger than him and uh, as a result as the fight grows closer David Hay has to realize that he has created a situation that is theatrical not realistic and he's going to be thrown into the lion's den and when they close the door he will be facing a big, powerful, experienced lion. And all of his toys and his video games and his scissors and his crayons will be taken away. And his buddy, Adam Booth, who is more of a buddy than a manager or trainer, they will all leave him alone with this big, powerful lion, and he will be destroyed. He's often referred to Latimer as a robot. But Latimer Klitschko is a very well-programmed and trained robot whose only orders on the 2nd of July would be to destroy David Hay, and he would do that very professionally. I feel that the fight is bigger in the image of the public than it really is. It's two different classes. Latimer is too good, and he would knock out David Hay. I believe it would be within four rounds. The last week of preparation primarily consists of having an early morning walk from 8.30 to 9.30 along the lake. And then somewhere in between, we would stop and he would shadow box, uh, punching at a leaf on a tree or something for maybe five or six minutes. And then we come back and we rest. And then we go to the gym at six o'clock and he would train for two hours. A very light training because this is the last week. We want to restore the energy back into his muscles and build up his energy reserve. So we're not doing too much, but he must do a certain amount to keep his muscles flexible. In preparing for the fight with David Hay, Larry McClisco had about five quality sparring partners. And all of the sparring partners were mainly selected because of speed. Uh, we believe that it's very important to have fast boxers. So therefore, the biggest asset that David Hay thinks he has, he won't have because the sparring partners we had were very fast. Uh, he spared usually 12 rounds each day, four times a week. And one of the main sparring partners was the IBF cruiserweight champion, world champion himself, Steve Cunningham. He also spared with the middleweight contender, Andy Lee from Ireland, who was very fast. And he had one of the top amateur fighters in the United States, which is a uh, the heavyweight, which is a kid named Michael Hunter. The last day before the fight between Latimer Klitschko and David Hay will be spent with Latimer relaxing. He will weigh in the afternoon of the fight, and after the weigh-in, he will go and eat and go for a walk. Every night at 11 o'clock, which is approximately the time that he will be fighting, he goes for a walk for one hour. So his mind will be alert and fresh at the exact same time that he will be in the ring. And the day of the fight, he would just relax, maybe watch a few videos or something, uh, and just chill out and take it easy. Mainly right now, he's consistently focusing on the fight. That's all. But total relaxation. He does not like to have many friends and visitors coming in and wishing him good luck. He likes to keep his total focus and concentration only on the fight. 
and very few people will get close to him.